Have you heard of CapCut? You probably have by now. Let's dive into it. The great thing about CapCut is you can use it on your browser, desktop, and phone, like I'm doing right now. Here we are, we just opened up the CapCut interface. So the first thing you wanna notice is that there are lots of stuff to do. Down here you have the edit button, you have templates. There are a ton of templates in CapCut that other, other creators create that you can use to mimic their style etc. There's some that have music, interesting transitions, different effects. So I would certainly encourage you to explore that when you can. You have an inbox, different notifications I guess from TikTok. I don't know. I never, never open those up. And then me. You have all the different content that you've created on CapCut. Okay? So you want to go, in order to open up a project, you got to go to edit. There we are. You scroll up. You can create a new project, uh, or again, if you scroll all the way up, there's different templates you use. So let's just start with the basics, hit new project. Now it goes to your camera roll, and you can pick exactly what footage you wanna use. Once you pick your footage, you're brought to the edit screen. Down here, see, this lower part, that's your timeline. And up here is obviously what you're looking at. And you can hit the play button to go over what you're doing. Down here are your options. Edit, you have audio, um, you can add music, um, sound effects, text, you can add different text. Um, overlay, we'll talk more about that. Effects, templates. You have a ton of different options down here at your disposal, okay? So again, here's the timeline. If you click that, now you're controlling uh, the editability, editability, I don't know if that's a word, but the editability of the timeline. So, uh, real quick, if you wanted to cut, if you wanted to adjust, you can cut something out and you can hit the delete button. That's it, guys. That's the interface of basic CapCut. 